Welcome to Red's Effects. Amazing to be back. We've got a new intro, new music, new lower third, as well as a slate of 23 amazing, explosive new episodes. But if you're new here and you want to see the past season, click the annotation on screen now to take you to a playlist of all 23 episodes of season one. Think of that as your DVD box set of your favorite TV show. Except this is much better than your favorite TV show, and it's free. Yeah. Before we get started, let's just acknowledge some of the milestones that we've hit in our hiatus. Over 2,000 subscribers and even more amazing, over 100,000 views. 100,000 views. That's so cool to see and I'm so glad you guys are enjoying the show as much as I am making it. But with that said, let's move along and take a gander at this week's request from Remoro687 and he asks, Is it possible that you can make an effect on the holograms you did for fragments? Now I get a lot of requests from TV shows and movies, but for someone to request something from something that I created, that's amazing. Props to you, sir. So obviously, yeah, we'll do it. Now this is a really simple effect that uses quite basic compositing techniques and all you're gonna need to complete this effect is one, your footage, as well as a couple of images that are related to your hologram. For me, we are doing the weather hologram from fragments, so all I need is a couple of weather icons, maybe some suns and rain and clouds, like these over here. And all you can do for that is just type it on Google, whatever you need, find it, save it, bring it to Headphone Pro Express, and Bob's your uncle. Got that? Good, sweet, amazing. Fire up Headphone, and let's go. Here we are back in hit film, home sweet home. I've got my footage set up and waiting in a comp as well as all my elements imported and waiting in the media panel. So as I said, this is very individual to what your hologram is about and what you like. So play around with the ideas being shown here. I'm creating a weather hologram, so it'll have to have weather images, some text describing the temperature and a short description detailing what the conditions are like, I think. So let's start by creating a new composition and call it hologram. Then hit OK. Now in that new comp, let's create a new plane. I'll make mine a nice light blue and call it main shape. Now create another plane, maybe make it a darker blue this time and call it bars. You can switch that off while you're at it as well. OK, now let's grab the rectangle masking tool and draw a nice big rectangle over the main shape plane. There we go. Now let's turn our bars layer on and draw a thinner and smaller rectangle on it. Now let's duplicate that and move it to the bottom so we can have some symmetry going on. You can of course choose whatever colors you like and design your own patterns. It doesn't have to be a rectangles and all. Okay, now let's bring in some images. Here I've got a variety of weather related icons that I found via a quick Google search. So do your own, find whatever images you need. Let's bring them into our timeline, then we can scale, position and maybe even rotate them into place wherever we want. Okay, that looks good. Now for our text. Let's grab the text tool and type out, let's say 30 degrees, because it's quite hot where I am right now. Now we can change the font, modify the size and put it into place. I'll do the same for our weather conditions description. Okay, now that we've built our hologram, let's animate it. Let's head back to our original footage comp and drop our newly finished hologram one into it. Go ahead and make that a 3D layer as well. Now we can start to rotate and position it in 3D space in our scene. Here looks good for me. To animate it, let's head to the beginning of our comp and turn on keyframing for our hologram scale and set it to zero. Move forward to around the 6 frame mark and increase your scale to about 10 or 20% more than your final amount. Then move forward about 4 frames and set it to your final size. Ok, go back to the start of your comp and turn on keyframing for the opacity. Set it to 0. 
Then move forward to frame 10 and set it anywhere from 70 to 80% based on your preferences. Now, in order to sell the effect better, you can also click the plus icon and create a new grade layer, then apply the curves effect to that layer. You can then select the blue channel and bump it up a bit just so you can introduce some of that color from your hologram onto the scene. Then select the freehand mask tool and mask off one or two sections nearest to your hologram. You can then feather that mask heavily to blend it better with the footage. You can then also keyframe the opacity as your hologram comes in. Now you can go ahead and stylize it as much as you want. Maybe add a glow and customize that, or you can even individually animate the icons back in your hologram comp so it looks as if a lot is going on. All is up to you. But do all of that and you should end up with a pretty cool hologram. Well, those are some general tips for creating holograms. Take them, absorb them into your mind, and create your own stunning holograms. Hope you enjoyed this episode guys, you can follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter for sneak peeks, behind the scenes and whatever really, links are always in the description. But that is my time this week, so until next time, I'll see you in the next video.